Hi, this is Dr. Eric Dine from Baltimore, Maryland, checking in with Room Now. We just concluded the closing session of uh, the final day of ACR Convergence, and it was a fantastic meeting that was done. Wanted to talk about one of the abstracts from the afternoon session on the final day at ACR Convergence. And I'm going to talk about the ESPOR French cohort um, had abstract 1998, uh, which was in regards to patient outcomes on very low dose prednisone. Why is this important? If you saw the ACR um, new practice management guidelines that, that the drafts of which were released earlier today, you saw that there's a big shift away from the use of glucocorticoids, even in early RA. Um, <clears throat> and this was a surprise to a lot of people who, who keep EVA patients on uh, prednisone, but very low doses for long periods of time. So um, they, if you take a look at their S4 cohort, you find that um, they looked at 397 patients that were on low dose cohort, low dose prednisone. And so this was 65% uh, of the patients overall in the cohort were on what they classified as a very low dose. Uh, so the mean dose was 2.8 milligrams. Uh, so again, in that zero to five range. Um, the mean cumulative uh, glucocorticoid dose over time, it does add up. Uh, so um, that, you know, over eight grams, uh, I'm sorry, 80 grams over time, but, um, you know, small doses usually um, zero to one to four milligrams for these patients. Um, and so a lot of ph physicians would think that these small prednisone uh, prescriptions will not have a significant outcome in the things that we worry about with prednisone when we think about fractures, infections, cardiovascular outcomes. The duration of treatment though, you know, this was a 10 year follow-up study and the mean duration of treatment on glucocorticoids was 44.6 months. Um, and over time, when they followed the patients, they found that there were a fair number of events for them to um, analyze. So there were 95 total events. So they use a cumulative endpoint looking at deaths, um, cardiovascular disease, fractures, and severe infections. So there were 10 deaths in the study, uh, 18 cardiovascular and, and um, 32 fractures, 35 severe infections. Um, when they take a look at the univariate analysis of 10 years, you find that the glucocorticoid um, group was significantly higher um, of having more events. So 71 uh, of the total 95 events were in that glucocorticoid group. That was strongly statistically significant. We also find that there's a, a pretty strong dose effect. So the more steroids, the longer you've been on it, uh, the higher the risk. Um, the, the, the risk associated with being on steroids, again, we're not talking about 5, 10, 20 milligrams. We're talking about 1 to 4 milligrams. It increased every year with the time you're on it. So once you pass that six-year threshold, um, you see it as an increased risk factor. And by 10 years, you have a hazards ratio of, of um, uh, 6.8 uh, being on steroids. So the takeaway from here is that these small prednisone doses, you have trouble weaning off patients below five milligrams. Um, a lot of physicians will think this isn't going to be something that will impact you. They call it the physiological dosing. It, according to this cohort, you find that um, in all of these patients, um, the risk of death, cardiovascular um, fractures and infection, and, and particularly um, on that, that dose effect, it was the infections in the cardiovascular that had the biggest impact there. Um, so um, I think that plays into, when I think about the new ACR guidelines, recommend, recommendation not to put patients on steroids up front because we know patients will have difficulty coming off of them. Um, so um, trying to start with a steroid sparing agent, certainly if they, if they need steroids for acute inflammation, you should treat that, but the goal is not to continue steroid therapy uh, longitudinally. This is Eric Dine with Room Now. Thank you very much for following Room Now throughout this conference and stay tuned to Room Now uh, for breaking rheumatology information after the, the conference and, and our future meetings. Thank you very much.